Hi, my name is Peas. Let me not waste your time. Today I'll be showing you how to create this distortion effect in DaVinci Resolve. This effect was originally found by Extra Creamy, and he's allowing me to share this information with you guys. So you should go check him out in the description below. He creates other DaVinci content and other great edits. Now the way this is going to work is that I'm going to show you how to do the effect. Then I'm going to explain how the effect works at the end of the video. All right, let's get started. All right, to start off, I have my clip right here. I'm going to click my clip, and then I'm going to hit the Fusion button right here, and then we're going to go inside the Fusion page. From here, we're just going to add two nodes. We're going to add the Displace node. So I'm going to click my media in. I'm going to hit Shift Space and then I'm going to type displace and add that node right here and then I'm going to bring it to the middle over here the next node we're going to add is the create bump map node just like that and then we're going to connect the media into the create bump map and then we'll connect this to the displace over here now we're going to click our create bump map and go to the inspector over here we're going to increase our height scale all the way up just like this and then we're going to go to our displace from here we're going to click the xy as our type for distortion we're going to put our x offset to negative 0.5 and our y offset to negative 0.5 then we're going to link the x refraction and the y refraction together and this time I'm not going to use an expression but I'm going to use a different method. So I'm going to click this X refraction and, have it and make a keyframe over here where this diamond is. And then I'm going to go down to the Y refraction. Then I'm going to right click it, go down to connect to displace and then X refraction. And now these values are linked together. And now you can see if we move it up and down, we can see our displacement effect, but it's a little bit too sharp. So what we're going to do in order to make it smoother is move our spread up like this. And now we have our effect just like that. And I like to put our spread to about six for this effect. And then we can increase our values for the refraction up just like this. And now we have our warp looking effect. We can do negative one and positive one just like this. All right, there we go. That is our distortion effect. We have our X refraction and Y refraction driving the displacement. And we have our spread over here. And we can actually change these inputs over here, the red, change that to the green and change the white channel to the red over here. And that'll create a different type of warp over here. It'll create this more of a rotation type of warp. And before, if we go red and we do green, it creates this zoom level warp over here. So how does this work? Basically, in DaVinci, using a create bump map node actually makes a normal map, which we use to drive the warp. Normal maps are supposed to be used for 3D texturing, whether with fake 3D geometry onto other surfaces. The way that they do this is by looking at the RGB channels on the map and linking it to the X, Y, and Z positions. Red would be X, green would be Y, and blue would be Z, but Z won't be useful for what we're doing. When we use the create bump map node on our scene, it uses luminance, otherwise known as the brightness of our image, to assume which way the details in the scene should be facing, thus creating our normal map. Depending on the strength of the colors on our map when we use the displace node like we did it starts warping the image in these rotating and zoom like ways depending on the channels that you link the map to now i know that all sounds confusing so i'll leave links to videos explaining normal maps and for its actual 3d implementation fusion down in the description and if you're interested in learning about how to make the smear effect in davinci resolve click this video right here otherwise subscribe and have a good day